this is Stan Grant here. Um, hopefully now you've seen the film, The Australian Dream, and you've got a lot of questions to ask. If you don't have a lot of questions to ask, then um, I may have wasted my time and you may have wasted yours. But I will assume that there are things on your mind after having watched the film. It is an engrossing and emotional journey. There's no doubt about that. You are seeing not only the struggle of an individual, of a man, Adam Goods, confronting an extraordinary situation where his history, his life, his dreams, his family, his society all come together at one point. What you're seeing here on the screen is 200 plus years of our history in Australia played out on a sporting field and played out in the life of one man. It was an enormous burden for Adam to carry, obviously, and I think as you saw in the film, it took a huge toll on him to have to go through that, not just himself, but also his family. There's also a story of strength here, I think, and resilience that even though he was having to endure what he had to go through, he was also able to come out the other side with a renewed strength in who he is, a renewed strength for his culture, a love of his family, and I have to say this too, a great love and a hope for Australia, because that really is what the film is about. It is not just about the worst of us, it is about the best of us. So what are some of the issues and just trying to anticipate some of the questions that you may want to answer, not being able to be there with you, but to, to think through some of the things that I would have thought about if I was sitting there in your shoes watching the film for the first time. I think the first thing we confront is the question of history. History sits at the heart of the Australian dream. We can't separate ourselves from our history. I wrote in my book, Talking to My Country, which was in many ways the genesis for this film, that I am all history. History lives in me. I'm the product of what's happened in this country. I'm the product of what's happened to my family. But I don't wanna be a prisoner of history. That's the dilemma. How do we live with the weight of that history, but at the same time, be able to cast off the weight of that history? So history, I think, is the first thing we need to deal with here. History is not just a collection of events, times, people, places. History is not just Captain Cook or Arthur Phillip or Benelong or Pemelway or Windradine. If you don't know those, those names, those Indigenous names, look them up because they will tell you a very different story of Australia. History is just not Merino's sheep and the explorers and the gold rush and World War I and World War II and the Depression and whatever else we want to mark as part of our journey to where we are. History is a human struggle. At some point, Maybe after you leave high school and you go to university, you will encounter the philosopher Hegel. Now, Hegel was a philosopher, a German philosopher, who wrote a lot about the philosophy of history. It's probably been the most influential uh, thinker in my life because he really challenged the idea of what history means. History, he said, is the struggle for human freedom and recognition. In that struggle to be free, we drive history. You see this play out in momentous events like the French Revolution or the American Revolution, uh, the wars, empire, colonisation. All of these things are driven by a desire in us to be free. Why do we leave the cave and wander over the nearest hill? Because we want to see what is there. We want to explore our world. We want to be free. 
But of course, our actions have implications, consequences for the actions of others. Freedom, our freedom, may impinge on the freedom of other people. How do we live together in peace if all of us are pursuing our own ends, our own free will? And that's where Hegel arrived at what he saw as the, the absolute freedom, which conversely is the idea of giving up your freedom so that you may attain a higher freedom. He saw the higher freedom as being in the state, in the nation, where we come together and we abide by a set of practices and laws and morals that allow us to be able to live together and explore that freedom. That, he believed, was the ultimate destiny of human beings. When you reach that point, he said, you have reached the end of history. And that's an interesting idea, but the end of history. The great ideological struggles, the yearning to be free has reached its end point. I don't want to go into too much detail about that because that is a very complicated area and it can lead to tyranny and authoritarianism on the one hand or it can lead to democracy on the other. That's for another time. But the question of history, that struggle to be free, really sits at the heart of the Australian dream. I don't believe that we are people who are trapped in a time and a place, that we are in a process of becoming. We are always in a process of change. So colonisation, people, British come, claim Australia, Indigenous people are dispossessed. So begins a, 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 a story of tragedy um, for Indigenous people. Pushed off our lands, moved into the fringes of society, onto missions, onto reserves. Children taken away, excluded, our liberties denied. And you end up with what we end up with today, which is the idea, that, you know, the reality that Aboriginal people still are the most impoverished and the most imprisoned people in Australia, die 10 years younger than the rest of the population. That struggle for freedom is yet to be attained for us. So what is, is the, the, the film ultimately is about is the journey of a nation to reach that point of freedom. How do we throw off the shackles of our colonial past of our, of, of, of our history, of our racism, of our violence. And all of that came together, of course, in one place, uh, the sporting field, a place that is hallowed ground for Australians. We see ourselves so much as identified around, the, around sport. So Adam Goods brought together in that one moment when he was racially abused and he stood up to that, he brought together all of that struggle to be free and confronted the darkness of Australia's history. Indigenous rights sit at the heart of that struggle to be free. They are informed by our history. They were shaped by the act of dispossession. So for Australia to reach a point of freedom, surely we have to be able to acknowledge the rights of Indigenous people and confront our own shortcomings and to try to be able to move forward together as a nation. Mm -hmm.